you know what? When I first took the fight, before I watched all the tape, I thought he was like a wrestler. But that's actually not quite the case. He doesn't shoot as much as I think. I do think he's going to try to wrestle with me and, and hold me down. You know, it's kind of like prepare for the worst, hope for the best. I'm preparing to get laid on, but I'm hoping he'll stand and trade. And he actually does stand and strike, but he doesn't super commit to his shots. He kind of throws for like uh, activity, doesn't engage in a lot of gunfights. So I'm just going to try to make him really uncomfortable in this fight and stay in his face and do some damage. And, you know, I have no problem grappling with him, especially since it's like in my mindset now. So I feel like I have a lot of freedom in this fight, and I, I feel like he's going to have to like look for some desperation takedowns because he's not react very well to getting hit, and that's not something you can train either. So, I mean, I, I think he knows I'm going to be coming at him really hard, So and that's what's going to happen. When you analyze you guys, you guys are the same height, you're the same weight class, you have the same reach, you have the same lead hand, but what separates you the most from him? So this is my personal opinion, and I don't like him very much. This may be biased, but, like, you know, I think he's, like, an athlete. He, he's, like, a martial artist, but he's not a fighter. Like, when I fight, I go in there, like, ready to die to kill somebody. You know what I mean? Like, I'm in there to, to, to throw down, you know, and, and not look back. And, and he just doesn't seem to have that same grit. And I'm not going to say he's not tough, but he definitely doesn't seem to be about it. He seems like the kind of guy who, like, athletically made his way through. But, like, you know, when the cards are down... I'm going to be the one, you know, swing until the end. And I don't think he's, he's that same way. I think just yeah. on paper, um, it, you know, it makes sense. Uh, we're both going into our eighth UFC fight with, uh, four wins inside, inside the UFC and a lot of other similarities. Um, you know, he's a pretty well-rounded guy and he's not, and nobody's easy at this level, uh, especially not this guy for sure. But, um, I just think that wherever the fight goes, I'll be better. And, uh, you know, if it's a kickboxing match, if it was a wrestling match, if it was a jiu-jitsu match, I feel like I could beat him in all those categories. And, uh, you know, I feel like this is a guy that I can really control where I take the fight. I can take it wherever I need to. So um, I, I like the Alex Morono fight because I feel like I can just free myself up, free my game up, and I can take the fight wherever I want to and, and mix up all the different disciplines. What challenges does Alex pose for you, though? Uh, you know, he's got some things that he does pretty well, um, some stuff in the stand-up, and, uh, you know, he's got some really good front chokes, some good guillotines and stuff like that that he's caught people with before that, uh, you know, even down on the regional level, um, maybe, you know, losing some rounds or losing the fight, and then, you know, he's able to get a choke and stuff. So um, he's got some slick submissions and stuff, uh, I don't know. I think, you know, he wings shots and stuff like that, but I think it's too sloppy to the point where it's losing power. I don't think he's got the power to put me down. Um, he puts out some decent volume, you know, so definitely got to come in shape. Um, but I, I really like the matchup. I feel like I have the skills to beat this guy.